New at six a few hours from now, a Tennessee native plans to go from zero to about 25,000 miles an hour and break the clutch of our atmosphere. Barry Butch Wilmore is a graduate of both Tennessee Tech and UT. The veteran spaceman is set to make another historic flight tonight to the International Space Station. 10 News reporter Vinay Simlot joins us to explain this groundbreaking flight. Vinay. Robin John, since the space shuttle's final flight in 2011, NASA has tried to use private companies to take American astronauts to space. SpaceX launched its first rocket with people on board in 2020. Tonight, Boeing hopes to prove it can do the same with a test flight. Three, two, one, and liftoff. 31 minutes after launch, Boeing's Starliner capsule will be in orbit. It's exciting, it's thrilling. Before he gets there, Barry Butch Wilmore will have seen three years of delays and two crew changes. What I feel right now in two words would be well fed. WBIR talked with Wilmore in 2021 ahead of a canceled test flight. He sat with Nicole Mann and Michael Fink. They were scheduled to fly with Wilmore on the first Starliner flight. Now the VFL will be flying with Sonny Williams. I sort of have to pinch myself a little bit to understand where actually we're going. For years, Wilmore waited. And lift off. In 2019, NASA flew a test flight without crew. That Starliner, uh, not in the, in the correct attitude for it. There it didn't make it to the space station. A bad clock on the Boeing capsule meant the capsule was making maneuvers at the wrong time. NASA delayed another test flight for several months in 2021. And last year, engineers found an issue with the parachutes. A nice cushion landing is what you hope for. Now, NASA says it's ready for another private company to launch with people. And really, it allows NASA now to focus beyond low Earth orbit to the moon. Nicole Mann is now part of the Artemis program. She's training to go to the moon. Michael Fink will stay on the ground as backup as this Tennessean gets ready to leave our atmosphere. It's going to be a really thrilling time. Boy, will it ever. Yeah. Okay, this test flight's going to launch exactly at 1034 tonight. Exactly. There's no launch window. It's called an instantaneous launch. The window is 1034. They do that because the capsule is trying to dock with the International Space Station. It's a moving target. They'll have a 38-hour journey to get in position and dock at the space station with John, as you know, is 17,000 miles an hour. It is indeed, and they'll also have some music. They will. We saw the playlist that Boeing released of, of a lot of songs that are on that playlist. Rocket Man by Elton Probably John, yeah. the Star Wars title, The Final Countdown, as you would expect, and one Taylor Swift song, It's Out of the Woods, mm. which was our secret song in Nashville when I went to watch her concert. Oh, there you have it. Okay, one of your <laughs> favorites then. All right, Vinay, thank you.